Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum number of arrows to burst balloons. So there are some spherical balloons tapped onto a flat wall that represents the XY plane. The balloons are represented as a 2D array called points, which is given as input to us, where points of I represents a coordinate X start, comma, X end. So this represents the horizontal diameter of every balloon where x start and x end is the diameter start and end points. And there is no need to know the exact y coordinates of this balloon, that is the height of this balloon. You just have to know its depth because the arrows are shot up directly vertically, that is from bottom to top in the positive y direction, that is in this way. And this is a condition when balloons will burst. We'll take a look at that shortly. And there is no limit to the number of arrows that can be shot. And every arrow keeps traveling up infinitely, bursting all the balloons in its path. And our task is to return the minimum number of arrows that are needed to burst all the balloons. Now let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. So let's start with the first example. We are given the points array. And now you see these are the diameters of the balloons, right? First balloon is from 10 to 16. Second balloon is from 2 to 8. Third balloon is from 1 to 6. Fourth balloon is from 7 to 12. And we have to find the minimum number of arrows we can shoot. So if we go with the original order, this will take more number of arrows. So it is important for us to sort this array based on its start dimension. So after sorting, our array will look like this. So this is the array after sorting. And now you see, and the array is sorted now based on its start dimension. So for example, these two balloons will take one arrow. So based on this, let us process. And for this input array, we start with the number of arrows as one. Because if the input array consisted of only one balloon, this balloon will take one arrow. So the minimum number of arrows is going to be one. And with the same arrow, we have to check if the next balloons can be shot. If they can't be shot, we increment that arrow by one. But to start off with, we need one arrow. So I consider this as the previous balloon and start our iteration from here. So I will start from here and it will go until the end. And we keep comparing I with the previous value. So let's see. So this is I and this is the current balloon. So previous is 1,6 and current is 2,8. We check if with this arrow we can burst this balloon. Yes. How are you checking? You are checking the common part. So here as you can see, if you shoot an array between this range 2 and 6, a single arrow can burst both the balloons. So this arrow won't be incremented, but the previous value will be updated. So in the next iteration, I will move forward, right? And this will be a current balloon. So this current balloon, we can't compare it with the previous value we have to compare it with this common value because with this arrow, it will shoot all the balloons within the range 2 and 6. So we have to check if this 7, 12 lies between the range 2 and 6 so that with the same arrow, we can shoot this balloon too. So this previous value should be updated. So previous was initially 1, 6, right? And what is the updated value? It should be change to 2 comma 6. So how are you checking that? You're taking the max of these two values, which is 2, and you're taking the min of these two values, which is 6. So that is the updated previous value. So previous is now 2 comma 6. And you check this current value with this previous. So take the current balloon. Current balloon is 7 comma 12, which is not in this range. So this arrow can't shoot this balloon. So we need a new arrow. So arrow is now 2 and this will be our previous value. So that in the next iteration when current is here, we have to check with this previous value. So previous will be changed to the current balloon's value. So current is 7 comma 12. So previous is now updated to 7 comma 12 and we have to compare it with current. So now the current is 10 comma 16. So this new arrow can be shot anywhere between this range 10 and 12. So with this, we can shoot these two balloons, but we have to update our uh, previous value to max of this which is 10 and min of this which is 12 so that uh, within this range this current arrow can shoot the next balloon but we already reached the end in the next iteration we go out of bounds there is no balloon to be processed so until now you took two arrows so this is the second arrow and this is the first arrow so the total answer is two so two will be returned as the output so the time complexity of this approach is going to be big O of n log n, log n because you're sorting the input array based on start diameter and n to process all the balloons in the sorted array. And the space complexity is going to be O of 1 because we're not using any extra space to solve this question. Now let's take a look at the code. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input array points given to us. And we have to return an integer representing the minimum number of arrows that, that are needed to burst all the balloons. Now, like we discussed, we have to sort this input array points in ascending order based on the starting index. So first, this balloon will appear because its starting index is 1. 
next this will appear next this will appear and then this will appear so i'll use the arrays.sort method to sort the input array points given to us and we have to compare the starting index of a 2d array right so i use two objects a and b and then use the integer.compare method and we have to compare the starting index of these two objects and this a and b are array objects and we are starting the zeroth index position of array a and zeroth index position of array b this will sort this entire array points in ascending order now let's declare our output variable which is an integer i'm going to name it arrows which will represent the number of arrows we need and initially we started with one because we need at least one to burst one balloon in the minimum so it means we need at least one arrow if there is at least one balloon present inside this input array and now we start from index position one because we compare with its previous uh, balloon so we start with this balloon after sorting so after sorting we start with the second balloon so we start with index position i where i will iterate until the end of the points array and now we need to get the start and end points of the previous balloon right so i create a variable previous start and our current balloon is starting with index position i equal to 1 so we check its previous balloon which is at index position 0 and for that balloon the start index is at 0 comma 0 and we have to get the end index of the previous uh, balloon that is previous end and this is initially points of 0 that is the previous balloons index and the end index is at index position 1 so for example if this is the current balloon the previous balloon is this one right so we are getting the previous balloon here and this will be the previous start and previous end is going to be this which is at index position 1 and start is at index position 0 and now let's do the same for the current balloon so i copy these two variables and paste it here and i rename this to current start and i'll rename this to current end and we are going to access the balloon at the ith index position so this will be i of 0 and this will be i of 1 now we have the current start end and have the previous start and end now we need a new array to be burst if the current start is greater than its previous end so if current start is greater than its previous end then we need a new arrow to burst this new balloon so first increment this arrow and now we have to change the previous start and previous end right and these are going to be the current start and current end because we now need a new arrow and for the next iteration we need to change the previous start so previous start is equal to current start and previous end is equal to current end and now in the else block it means we can burst the current balloon with the with this arrow itself so we need to find the new previous start and previous end so previous start is going to be updated and previous end is also going to be updated so previous start is going to be the maximum of so mat.max previous start or current start and previous end is going to be the minimum of mat.min of previous end and current end and this for loop will iterate till the end of the points array and we accessed all the balloons and we have our answer present inside this variable arrows which is updated here so return arrows now let's try to run the code the test case are being accepted let's submit the code and our solution is accepted